Good evening, and thank you for tuning in to In the Upper Room. My name is Shona Roy. And I'm Dwayne Adams. So the reason he did that was because <laughs> every week, ever since Dwayne joined the team, I say, do you want to open? And he says, no. So tonight he says, I'm not sure how to open. And I'm like, oh, it's easy. And I completely forgot <laughs> how to open the show. Well, my open might be a little different when I do it, though. I don't know. Next time? Yeah, definitely next time. I definitely think it's time, time for you to stop. I have no problem with that. You know I'm comfortable. Then how come you didn't do it tonight? Um, because when you said you forgot, I said, okay, let's get you reacquainted with remembering again. And then I could just jump in for the next show. So everyone, the next show, I will be opening. Yeah, all right. Is that what it was? That's exactly what it was. Okay, all right. So everyone, like we said, thank you so much for watching this evening. Um, after our opening credits, which you were watching, was just a little bit of uh, footage from my last, not my last trip, the trip before my last trip to Nairobi. And that was my sister and brother-in-law's child center in Nairobi, Kenya, called Hope and New Ministries. So we were talking about that in my church today, so I thought we would show it on the program tonight. That's beautiful. I mean, so what did you do? Did you help teach or you just observe the kids or? Kim wants me to teach. And she's very nice, right? She's very encouraging. And mm -hmm. she says, you don't really have to, all you have to do is, because my family calls me Nikki. So she's like, Nikki, all you have to do is color with them or something. So I do those little things or I play games with them, mm -hmm. but I'm not ready to give like a Bible study lesson, which is weird because years and years ago, I did do Bible study lessons at my church. But I don't know, I think also it's a language barrier for me because I feel like these little blank faces are looking at me and they don't understand a word I'm saying. Well, you know what I'm going to say. The word is called breaking barriers. So you could have started with something small and just gave them a little taste of. Which is why I play games and color with them. Okay, all right. I mean, that's good, but the teaching is always good. I know, they, I, you know, I they do. Because kids are always wanting to learn things. So when they're coming from you, from somewhere else, they're looking at you like, wow, she's here, she's teaching. It's so funny. They recognize the ponytail when I go back. What's it? So even if I'm not at the center, like if I'm at a grocery store or something. One of my sister's students went up to her and said, Miss Kimberly, I saw your sister at Nakumart at, at, at the grocery store, because right. they recognize the ponytail. They don't wear ponytails out there? Not like this, not like this one. So how would they read to, to me? Yeah, the baldness would probably stick out. Well, my brother-in-law is bald, actually. Yeah, but is it like this? I mean, no, this is, this Dwayne, is nice. this nothing, is, nothing. No one, nice. no one in Nairobi, Kenya has a head quite as bald as it's yours. Is that nice. what you want me to say? It's shaped nice, it's no shiny. dents. It's shiny. The well, glare is just. I know. I, I asked the camera people, can they powder it up? I shaved it today, so, you know, I, I, I you know, sorry. Anyone out there, if you're watching, you get blinded by the bald head, my apology. I didn't mean it purposely. Uh-huh. Okay. I, you know, I got to apologize to them. That's, that's our people. We want them to understand. Speaking of our people, mm -hmm. we have two shout outs at least. Right. What's the two shout outs? Our first shout out is to Mike Ellis. Uh, Mike Ellis, uh, I was shopping, I guess a week ago or so, mm -hmm. and um, I ran into Mike Ellis at, at a grocery store, and he's like, I, I, you do that TV show on Channel 28. So I said, we would say hi to Mike Ellis. And our second shout out is to Mom Josephine, who we met yesterday at Sonia's uh, mm -hmm. Senior Cupid Ball. Mm -hmm. And she is a longtime viewer, a longtime family member of In the Upper Room. We had a nice chat. I did what I'm doing now, which is talk a lot. And well, she probably didn't mind it. <laughs> Mike, how you doing? Mike, keep yeah. turning in. Um, the program was nice at the senior center. Yeah. We didn't say no thing. And also, I'm not sure if you're watching, it was a, a, a senior who got slightly injured at the ball. Um, I hope you're feeling better today. You might be a little sore. I was there to help out. Um, so from the heart, I hope you feel a little better that, than the other day. And, um, you know, I hope you enjoy the rest of the day. Yeah, I have to admit, I, um, I, I tease you a lot because it's fun, but you really did. You were very helpful yesterday in that situation. It was, you know, a little scary. Yeah, it was, it and, was. Uh, you know. One second you were sitting on the bleachers and the next second you were across the room. So that was. Well, I'm, I mean, it's like with people with disabilities, some people feel to realize um, when you lose some other senses are keen. And when I saw that, I just sprung into action naturally because someone was injured. So, you know, I went to help out. Yeah. But it was a good thing. Yeah, we had, there were quite a few um, events, uh, people at Sonia's event. Sonia Jones, she was on two weeks ago, three weeks yes. ago, talking about the senior ball. So Kevin Kelly was there, mm -hmm. um, Joshua Dennis was there, mm -hmm. Sonia was there. There was a lot of senior citizens there. They had a really nice time. Yeah. There was food. There was a cake, courtesy of Cakes by Kim okay. in Jermay Drive. They, they donated a beautiful Valentine's Day cake. 
So it was a really nice event, and we want to thank Sonia <coughs> for inviting us yeah, and was, for nice. putting together the whole event. Mm -hmm. And also, we're going to start doing some newer things here on the show. Um, since you were recognized by that gentleman, we want to see how many people are really watching the show. So this is what I decided to do. Every 10 people, well, every 10 people that I come across throughout the day, I plan to take pictures of us. I'm going to put it on Facebook. And the 10th person, I'm going to give you a free pass to Breaking Bad to work out. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you this on television, it's a free pass. So you want to work out, you get a free pass. I want you to start walking up to me, walking up to me. Dwayne, I see you in the upper room, not Breaking Bad. In the upper room, we're going to take that picture and we're going to start posting it. I think we should start posting That's, it. Because everyone likes to get on television, so this would be your couple minutes of, of, of television fame, yeah, absolutely. you should say. Absolutely. And then if you have a talent, that'll be able to bring you back in. Because that young man we've been trying to get. The flute player. The flute I haven't player. Forgot still about haven't you. Called, and no one else has called then. So if your kid's got talent, we're trying to hear from you. But in the meantime, this is what I'm going to do. So if you contact either one of us in the street, we're going to take that picture. We're going to say that picture. We're going to be on Facebook. We get to number 10, you get a free pass to kind of break a barrier. I forgot what the other thing it was I wanted to do. My brain um, be running so much, so much. Um, I forgot too. It'll come back to me. It was the shaving of the hair. Some of the stuff just got lost. Got lost. Yeah, that's what it was. But we want to do that because we want y'all to tune into the show. We want you to be happy with not just the two of us, but the guests we bring on here, the fun we bring on here, the new things we can bring on here. And I think it'll be great for Wilmington or whoever else is able to watch this because we're going to bring something to you that you're going to love. The other reason I like that idea is because people are really happy and excited when we say hi to them, mm -hmm. you know. So I think if we post their pictures and, you know, then we have a collage of all the people that we meet. I thought there that was go. a good idea. That's a good idea. Oh, so I got my shout out. My shout out is to... Wilmington, what's up? How you doing, Wilmington? I got all of you. I got all of you. Hey, Wilmington, how you doing? You know, the, the other reason I kind of folded my arms and checked out while you were talking, did you notice that I did that? Uh, out the corner of my eye. Okay. So that was, um, that, was, that was hostility and resentment because I don't really think that working out's a prize. But, you know, hey, if you want to give away a free workout. Yeah, I said it. Devin. <laughs> oh, Devin. My I'm trainer, sorry. My partner. I'm sorry. Janika, <laughs> shout out to both of you individually. If you're watching this and you heard what she just said, when she comes for the rest of that challenge, I say no more. Okay? It's done. It was so awful. It was so, there's nothing worse than hearing my name in your facility. Nothing worse. That's beautiful. That means they're paying attention. Shut up. You think you're still doing it? Oh, it's awful. It's awful. Mm -hmm. It's really hard. How's it hard? You've okay, been going good. Okay, you know what? No. The thing with the ropes from the ceiling when you have to lay down and pull yourself up? Oh, yeah. The, that doesn't make any sense, But those are, it's not from the ceiling. It's from the rack. It doesn't matter where the ropes are coming Are you from. pulling this way? No. Do you even know that Devin does this? Listen, because it's awful. The rope things are there, right? right? And you have to grab the ropes, and then you're laying, like, parallel to the ground, mm -hmm. holding the ropes, mm -hmm. right? And from the ground, you have to pull yourself up. And this is part of the circuit thing that he makes you do like 19 times. So then by like, you know, like the third time, your arms are shaking and stuff, and I'm crying, there's real tears coming. So how's the muscles in your arm in definition? It doesn't matter. Now, any other time you flex. <laughs> so is it, is it muscle there now? Yeah, I got muscles. See, so what are you complaining <laughs> about? Oh, my goodness. Listen, anyone when you want to work out, we don't kill you. We work with the level to get you up to where you need to get to. We all need to work out. We all need to get healthier. Wilmington, I want to get y'all healthier. So Breaking Bears can do it. Come on through. I'm not promoting it, promoting it, but yes, I am, because it's about your health, your life. You want to live long and you want to be healthier. Okay. Yeah, right? All right. That's fine. So. Okay. Yeah. Good thing? Sure. Whatever. I see. Shall see we go you? to the throne of grace? Yes, we should. You want to start? Sure. Okay. Father, I thank you for another day. I thank you for everyone in the city of Wilmington, everyone within my voice and the ones that can feel my spirit, that we must believe in faith. Every time I speak and I pray, it's about faith. We have to believe in the man above that everything is done through him. If you look at today, we woke up today, we were able to eat, we were able to sleep, someone was able to drive, we were able to live, we were able to breathe, all this because of the man above. So I ask everyone to keep in prayer Read your word, even if it's just one phrase, one line. Keep in prayer. 
Keep in faith. Stay strong. Even though it might look dark and dim and cold and it's not going to work out, that's when you have to stay strong. Because these challenges only last a minute, but you have faith and last for a lifetime. Father God, we want to send this prayer out to those people that are struggling in their bodies. Lord, we know that everything is in your control and we thank you for that. Father God, we want to send a special prayer out tonight for those who are struggling in any aspect of relationships of their life, Lord. Whether their relationships on their job, with their children, with their significant other, with their parent, with their friends. Lord God, we are here on, on, on this planet and we have to get through every single day and we have to interact with each other and we want to interact in a Christ-like way, Father, through love. Father, we pray that you will help us with that. Give us the correct, wise, caring, loving, considerate words to say. Father, help us in those moments when we're struggling. Let us know that you are there and help us reflect your son through our actions and our words. We pray these things in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.